The Afghan Air Force says it can change the shape of the fight against the Taliban and other groups, especially here in Kandahar, southern Afghanistan. This is one of Afghanistan's few fighter pilots. He and his family have been threatened by the Taliban, so we're protecting his identity. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about dropping bombs here? He told me the people he's bombing aren't just the enemies of Afghanistan, they're the enemies of humanity. He said that he's proud his country now has air power to stand up to them. For decades, Afghanistan relied on these Soviet helicopters, but a lack of spare parts means these MI-17s will eventually be replaced with U.S. Blackhawks. Captain Jafar Majburyar has been an Air Force mechanic for more than 30 years. Of course we are excited about new aircraft. The only way we will get peace in this country is with the new technology. But the Afghans still need a lot of help. They can't maintain and fly all the aircraft they have themselves, so U.S. advisors and international contractors fill the gaps. To build a, an air force in peacetime is difficult. It is a multi-year process. To try to do it during wartime is, is a Herculean effort. American pilots fly with Afghans on training missions to hone their skills. On this flight, air traffic controllers guide the plane around active battle zones. Ground crews don't just have to learn how to load planes, but how to transport live ammunition to soldiers in the field. And for military families, perhaps the most important mission is bringing the fallen home. Second Lieutenant Zikrula was killed in fighting in central Afghanistan. His remains are being returned to Badakhshan in the northeast. Many Afghans say they want faster, larger aircraft, but the Americans say this fleet is capable and sustainable. The multi-year plan is to double the number of aircraft and increase personnel by 50 percent. Here at Kandahar Airfield, that means the Afghan Air Force is going to need more space, and they plan to take it from the other side of the runway. There, there's going to be offices, training facilities, and room for brand new helicopters. The first Black Hawk flights are expected to start next year. It will take years to get the new helicopters fully in service. In the meantime, the Afghans are making the most of what they have. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, at the Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.